a toilet delivery kit. The second pre-birth visit focused on teaching the mothers to be about newborn care. The community health worker brought a doll to teach the mother the essential newborn care practices, warmth, nutrition, good hygiene, and infection management. The community health worker also taught the mothers how to use a safe delivery kit for clean cord cutting, how to do exclusive breastfeeding, and how to recognize and seek care for infections. The community health workers strived always to refer pregnant women to clinics and hospitals for safe deliveries. Anytime you can deliver with a skilled birth attendant, you're, you're better off, and, and that was promoted in every delivery where possible. Once the baby was born, the health worker provided early postnatal care by visiting the newborn on the first third and seventh day after birth. The visit during the first 24 hours was most crucial. Though babies would die, about a third of them die on the first day, about two thirds on the first, first week of life. So there's a lot of death early on. And if we can reach those babies, identify babies who are vulnerable, uh, maybe have infection or preterm, low birth weight, and can manage those uh, problems, it can reduce mortality significantly. And so, I think what is important about Projonmo is, I think, we demonstrated that you can do that. Projonmo also demonstrated that community health workers could provide antibiotics if they discovered symptoms of infection in the baby. The worker would start a course of antibiotics and refer the family to the hospital. If they could not or would not go, the worker administered a 10-day series of antibiotic injections in the home. Two out of three families chose not to seek care at the clinic, and instead, their newborns received treatment at home, provided by community workers. And the research showed that babies treated at home by the community workers fared as well as those referred to health facilities. Josna Begum was one of Projanmo's first community health workers. <laughs> I wanted to become a doctor when I grew up, but there were many obstacles. Through Projanmo, I can offer health services. I love that I'm providing care to people. After three years of service, she was promoted to supervisor. She mentors new recruits and is called on in difficult cases. They call me Dr. Appa. In Bangla, that means doctor sister, and that makes me so happy. My becoming a supervisor has encouraged others to believe that they can too. Beyond their, I mean, respect in the community, and what they have earned over a period of time through their work, to their linkage and through their training and skills, is something they deserve and we are really proud of that and we see that is you know they are the future leaders if we can use them if we can sustain them and we can uh, give them the confidence that is there i think the, the community health workers very much took pride in, in what they were doing and and, and really felt a personal responsibility for for the life of, of that baby and, and, and the life of the mother as well the lessons of Projanmo have affected policy at the national level in Bangladesh. Projanmo showed through the evidence of their study that using simple ways we can reduce the neonatal mortality. And the government has accepted the system they have developed in their study. And if we can use this study through community health worker we can reduce tremendously the neonatal mortality in our country. And now aid organizations and other governments are taking notice. They're looking to those same lessons as a way to prevent more needless newborn deaths. The basic principle of empowering families, of empowering 
village-based workers to save the lives of newborns is a principle that can be applied across the world. And the Prasadamo project certainly bore that out.